Shalom, this is Brother Ra. Brother Isa. Coming to you with another GMS on the go. We're gonna call this GMS in transit. All right, we're on the way to camp. And now uh, we just wanna do a video, you know, uh, but first and foremost, we wanna give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekwar Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, Great Millstone, for teaching us to 100% truth according to the Bible. And a double shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth to the best of their ability, regardless of whom here or forbears. And like we always start off, these videos we do only for the hopeful elect, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and that includes the confusion of faces, the ones who look like these heathen nations but go back to the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and um, spirit bears uh, witness with the truth. And we don't want to do a quick video on fear. All right. Come on, this is um, the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. You know, that's the only way you're going to receive the knowledge and wisdom of these scriptures. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of that. And again, it goes back to um, the wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures. All right. Not of cooking crack or um, having a doctor degree. You know, not any worldly type knowledge, but of the scriptures. You got to fear the Lord first. Mm -hmm. All right, that's the first thing. Read on. This is Proverbs 1 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. That's right. Uh, those fools, as we always bring out the definition of fools, goes back to idiot, blockhead, dummy, stupid, you know. Those are two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, the ones that don't want to hearken to the truth. You despise instructions, right? You despise the truth that was written ultimately for your learning, right? You despise to receive the knowledge and wisdom of the scriptures that was for your heritage. And so that's why people are destroyed, you know, each and every day, man, right? Cause they are fools and they just, they hate. That word despise goes back to hate. Can I say something? Yeah. Also, they don't want to fear you out by Shema Shai, you know? Right. Can I find a quick piece of? Yep, yep. This is um the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12, and it reads, And now Israel, you can break this down. Mm -hmm. This is Deuteronomy 10, 12, and now Israel. Oh, Israel. Israel is the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. What do the Lord thy power require of thee? You know. But to fear the Lord thy power. So that's right. The Lord is requiring us as a commandment, requiring us to fear him. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, right? And, and, and the, everything set up so perfectly. You got to fear the Lord first to be able to understand um, the knowledge and wisdom of the scriptures. So it's required of us to, to fear the Lord. Right, so it's a commandment. It's not. It's not the Lord asking you, or give you options. Right, the Lord said it's a requirement to fear Him. Right, and that again goes back to Proverbs one and seven. Fear is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom. Kind of, it's like it. I like the definition of require. It says cause to be necessary. Right, cause to be necessary. Uh huh. But it's a necessity that we fear y'all by Shema Shai. That was the only good one, really. Uh -huh. But um, I'm just gonna finish this off, then we're gonna go back. But the because this is the point. That was just the point. But okay. to fear the Lord thy power, to walk in all His ways, and to love Him, and to serve the Lord thy power with all thine heart, with all thy soul. But you know the point in that scripture that we wanted that to bring out was the fear. You know, notice that was the first thing on the list. Um, when we read uh, right. Proverbs again, I go back to Sirach. Go back. Go to Sirach. All right, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 1, verse 20. The root of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. That's right. The, the root of getting the wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures is the fear of the Lord. It's like um, the root of a tree. How did that tree become the size that it become, or any plant, was based on the roots, you know? Then it, it, it springs up and becomes a tree. The root of, of the knowledge of wisdom and scriptures is fear. You got our people, the first thing they want to say is they love the Lord. Right, but they have no understanding of what their power requires or anything about the um, you know, any wisdom related to their power, which is Yahweh by Shimmy I was shy. They they gotta fear the Lord first in order to to um to even understand what love is according to the Bible. So that's the root thing is fearing the Lord, as the scriptures say. Mm -hmm. God, um and it reads in the 
branches thereof are long life. Right, the branches thereof is long life. So, you know, keeping the statutes, laws, and commandments to the best of your ability is going to give you a life of an abundance, man. You know, you got you to gotta first fear the Lord and then, and then love the Lord, man. All right, because the Lord is going is going to give you a, a, a long lasting life, you know, if if you are, uh, you know, continue to fear and keep your statute laws and commandments to the best of your ability. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it. This is um, Baruch three and nine. Hear Israel, the commandments of life. Give ear to understanding. I mean, so I can give ear to understand wisdom. Gone. So Yahweh Shemashah. Ultimately, that long life that we're going to receive is in the kingdom of heaven. You know. When our Lord Yahweh Shai is reigning, when Yahweh Shema Shai puts these laws in our inward parts. That's right. That's going to be the main thing that allows us to live a long life. That's right. You got one more super so. mm -hmm. This is on Proverbs 10 and 27. The fear of the Lord prolongeth days, but, like it, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. Yeah, so, so so the ones that fear the Lord is gonna gonna live a prolonged life, a long life, right? Because the Lord, you know, knows what's best but for us better than we do. These the statute laws and commandments that are ready that was written for our learning was also written for us to have a long everlasting life, right? Not eating um abominable foods, mm -hmm. right? It's gonna it's gonna keep you healthy. Exactly. You know, not sleeping with the next man's woman. Mm -hmm. Right, the Lord is not going. It's not going to um, give you judgment because you're you're um, staying away from doing wicked things. That's right. Now, to the contrary of that, you got our people who are doing living the opposite of that. You know, they got this whole black culture going on. Our people doing drugs and you know just causing all types of affliction on their bodies and, and doing wicked, sinful things. The Lord is, getting, is sending out judgment left and right against our people for for wanting to uh, pursue a, a, a wicked life. Mm -hmm. Come on, time in. Yeah. Like this beautiful the verse say, you know, eating pork and you know, sleeping with the next man's woman. Cause you know back in the ancient days if you slept with the next man's woman, you know, you'd be judged with that accordingly, yep. you know, uh -huh. you would get put to death on the spot. That's why the days of the wicked shall be shortened. But nowadays, you know, judgment isn't executed speedily. Mm. So things like eating pork, shrimp, crab and lobster, that shortens your life in a way as, you know, getting gout, getting right. all these different uh, um, you know, infirmities from your body. But us who who, um, who um, are keeping the law of such commandments to our best of our abilities and fearing the Lord, we're going to be able to um, prolong our life in the sense of, you know, being healthy mm -hmm. and, you know, and waiting for Lord Howard to come back to this through this place. That's right. That's right. That's a beautiful precept there. Yeah. I got one more description. Uh -huh. This is on um, the book of Sirach, chapter 18, verse 18. The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of Him. That's right. So fear of the Lord is a very first step to be accept, uh, accepted of the Lord. The Lord wants you to fear Him first. Right? You know? And, so again, and wisdom attaineth His love. And wisdom attaineth His love. Why? Because wisdom um, is a principal thing. So, if you are continue to um, fear the Lord and stay in the truth, you know, of, of, of loving the Lord, Lord and keeping the statute laws and commandments to the best of your ability, right? That's what's going to, um, what, read the last part, Slocky. Uh, Slocky. Um, and wisdom attaineth his love. Yeah, and, and that's what's going to obtain the love, all right? By, um, you know, continuing to fear the Lord. And, and ones that fear the Lord are the ones who are actually... Um, trying to keep the statute laws and commandments to the best of their ability. Yep. And the Lord loves that, man. I got a precept for you. This is um, St. John chapter 14. Sorry. Right there. 14 and um, 15. Mm -hmm. Ye that love me, keep my commandments. That's right. You hear that? Can you read that again, brother? God, this is um, St. John. Yes, sir. St. John 14 and 15. Ye. If ye, so I'm gonna read it again because I messed up the first time. Uh -huh. If ye love me, keep my commandments. That's right. If you love the Lord, you will keep the statute laws and commandments that the Lord put before us to the best of your ability. Mm -hmm. To the best of your ability. The Lord is telling you how to love him. Alright? Kind of, um, 
I got one more scripture. Uh huh. This is um Sirach two and fifteen. Mm -hmm. They that fear the Lord will not disobey His word, and they that love Him will keep His ways. All right, the ones that love the Lord will not disobey the word. Again. God. I'm driving and doing two things at one time. They that fear the Lord will not disobey His word. That's right. The ones that that fear the Lord won't disobey his word and mm -hmm. and you know disobeying um or obeying the, the statute of laws and commandments is a requirement mm -hmm. all right the lord is 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 requiring or commanding us to keep the statute of laws and commandments and only the ones that fear him which is the hopeful elect mm -hmm. all right can i say something because mm -hmm. um ultimately you know you gotta fear your hobby to stay straight you gotta fear your hobby shima shine because like once we get that the knowledge of the fear of the lord you know mm -hmm. we get the wisdom knowledge and understanding you know that there's a penalty Mm -hmm. That you know, we can be. Um, there's a there's a penalty for us not following the law, statutes, commandments, and fearing the Lord. That you know, that when all hell breaks loose, the Lord might not protect us if That's we right. um, go all the way of doing that which is well pleasing to Him. Right. And I'm gonna finish it off. And and they that love Him will keep His ways. The ones that love Him is gonna keep His ways. Going back to um, St. John 14 and 15, mm -hmm. right? If you love the Lord, you know, you keep his commandments. And that's that's his ways, you know, keeping statute laws and commandments. That's a, a righteous way. Mm -hmm. uh, they that fear the Lord will seek that which is well-pleasing unto him. Con and that's what, you know, you see the men, starting while they have apostles and great milks on doing. You know, we fear Yahweh by Shema Shai. That's why we, um, you know, we're doing the videos mm -hmm. to the best of our abilities. We're going out there on the highways and byways, preaching the word. Mm -hmm. You know, we got the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding the scriptures. Yahweh Shema Shai commanded us to go share the knowledge. And us by us fearing him, we're doing that, which is well-pleasing. Okay? That's right. And um, this is the last part. And they that love him will be filled with the law. You know, we're keeping the law, statutes, commandments in this wicked, sinful kingdom to our best of our abilities. Ultimately, because we fear the Lord, you know, we don't want to be penalized for not for not following these law, statutes, and commandments and fearing y'all by Shema Shai. That's well said. Hey, so brothers, keep praying for more fear. You know, I myself, I pray for more fear. You know. Stay in this truth and, and keep pushing the truth, keeping the statutes, and commandments to the best of to the, our ability. You know. Mm -hmm. Anything you want to say? Yeah, that's well said. With that being said, before we close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekhar Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the one hundred percent truth according to the the Bible, mm -hmm. and a double shalom to all the Akim. Keep pushing, shalom. Shalom.